Hi guys. Okay, so in this lesson, we are going to write a quadratic expression or function in vertex form. And what I mean by vertex form is this, this form here, this hk form. It's also called hk form. It's also called the completed square form, but we're going to call it the vertex form. And the reason, the reason it's called vertex form and the reason it's useful is because once it's in this form, I have the coordinates of the vertex. The coordinates of the vertex are h, k, x coordinate h, uh, y coordinate k. When it's in this form, this form is useful for other reasons, which I've explained in a previous video, but I don't know what the vertex is. So I want to convert it from this into this uh, form. Okay, now I won't, I, well, I don't often say this, but in this particular case, unless, look, if you know exactly what you're doing already, fine, but the way I'm about to show you, I, I would say, can I use the word definitely? No, but it is most likely the best way to do it. It's certainly the easiest way to do it. Well, it's the most kind of structured way and it's always the same, especially when the your A is two, or sorry, just not one. It, it can become quite complicated. Like this can become quite a complicated um, conversion to make to turn it into vertex form. So anyway, this is this is what this is what we're going to do. So we know, let's say this is a quadratic, right? We know that the equation of oh, not that the equation of the axis of symmetry here is x equals minus b over 2a. That is in the formula booklet. But that means the coordinate, um, the x coordinate of this is minus b over 2a, because it's on the line minus negative b over 2a. So I, ha I can find the x coordinate using this formula. Therefore, I can find h using this formula. And once I have h, I just sub it in to find k. Simple as that. Okay, let's do a few examples. So we're going to start with x equals negative b over 2a. We'll always start with that. Then x equals negative b. Let's be careful. It's negative negative 6 or minus negative 6 all over 2a, which is 2 times 1, which is 2. Plus 6 over 2 is 3. Therefore, h equals 3. Now to find um, k, I'm going to say, to find k, I'm going to say uh, when x equals 3, what is y? So y equals 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 3, which is 9. 9 minus 18 is negative 9 plus 3 is negative 6. Therefore, k equals negative 6. And now I just have to uh, write it in this form. And a, I have a, a is what comes before the x squared. So a in this case is 1, a in this case is 2, a in this case is negative 3. So I can now write y equals a is 1, so 1, but I'm not going to put it, x minus 3, x minus h squared plus k. k is negative 6, so it's plus negative 6 or minus 6. And that's it. Done. Okay, now if those of you who know other methods for doing this will say, well, definitely, I have a better way to do that, an easier way to do that. And fine, for this one, I probably w would have used a different method. But for these two, I'm, I'm telling you this way is going to make it much easier for you. So we're going to do the same thing, negative b over 2a, x equals negative b, that would be um, negative negative 8 over 2a, which is 4. 8 over 4 is 2. Therefore, h equals 2. When x equals 2, y equals 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 5 which is 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 16 is negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. 
therefore, therefore, k equals negative 3, and then I can write it out again. y equals a is 2, x minus h squared plus k is uh, minus 3. Now, obviously, if h is negative 2, it becomes x minus negative 2, which would be x plus 2. Final one, um, same thing. I'm doing three examples here just to show you that. Um, well, this is a slightly harder one to do. So it's negative b over 2a, x equals negative b. So it's negative 3 all over 2a. And 2 times a is negative 6, which is 1 over 2. Therefore, h equals 1 over 2. When x equals 1 over 2, y equals negative 3 times 1 over 2 squared plus 3 times 1 over 2 plus 2. Negative 3, this is a, a half squared is a quarter, so that's negative 3 quarters plus 3 over 2 plus 2, which becomes negative 3 quarters plus 6 quarters um, let me get, make sure I get this right. Negative 3 quarters plus 6 quarters gives me 3 quarters. 3 quarters plus 2 is 3 quarters plus 8, eight, eight quarters, which is 11 quarters or 11 over 4. Um, just make sure you follow what I've done there. Okay, so that means, therefore, k equals 11 over 4. And finally y equals a is negative 3. So it's negative 3. Um, negative 3 into x minus h, which is x minus a half, squared plus k 11 over 4. Now, like this is, th that's not an easy question to turn this into this. But the way I did it, it was, it was basically exactly as easy or as difficult as this one, apart from the fact I had to do a bit of fractions, which is always problematic. But once you can figure out how to add and subtract fractions, it's the same method all the time. So uh, yeah, I like it. That's my favorite way to do it. And certainly once it's in that form, uh, it is useful because now you know exactly where the vertex is. and if you wanted to or if you had to sketch that graph um, and show where the vertex is you would need to do that okay see you guys in the next lesson